right, here we go. Hello, this is Rod of Rod Outdoors. I'm gonna do a uh, quick first impressions of my new backpack I just got in the mail. It's the Sierra Designs flex capacitor 40 to 60 liter. So one of the things that um, I need to get this backpack was this Y-frame. You can see here, it's really strong deck aluminum poles. Um, it could handle up to 50 pounds, which I had a problem with carry weight on my current backpack. The Gossamer awesome Gear Mariposa 60 has a current current uh, has a weight load of uh, 35 pounds and I could start feeling it on my shoulders once it hits around 30-35 pounds. Usually I don't carry that much but sometimes uh, especially during the summer of Henry Co. it gets extremely hot and uh, sometimes water is hard to come by so I have to bring very large water carries and it takes a toll on my shoulder sometimes another thing is about this Sierra Designs backpack is that it has airflow you see with these two really padded uh, shoulder blade Paddings. And another what for the lower back. There's this air channel here, which hopefully works well. This is the main thing that turned me off of this backpack. Is that my back gets extremely hot. This is the. It came with this pad at first, and it it's very comfortable. But yeah, my back starts sweating right away. So I replaced it with the. Uh, this I forgot what you call it the air airflow sit pad and it helped a little bit but yeah it's my back would still sweat right away so I was eyeballing um, backpacks Looking into some past few months, see if I could find the solution. This looks like a good candidate. I'm especially uh, looking forward to trying that uh, this frame since uh, at the bottom it goes down here. So hopefully it has some flex. So I have a little bit better mobility. Um, let's see, what else is there? Oh, I yeah, have the the big addition to this new 2023 edition is the two mesh pockets, which was sorely needed. Um, yeah, I really like it on this uh, Gossamer gear, so. It's one of the essential items uh, that I need. Let's see what else. And of course, what it's known for is that um, it can compress down to a 40 liter pack using these straps. There's four of them, and the previous version had six. Uh, I assume to probably make room for these mesh pockets. But there's two that run all the way across and then you can unbuckle both sides so you can strap, strap down like a smart water bottle or tent poles or maybe even your whole tent and it has two straps here to compress the pack down or you can cinch down some items externally so these are here, and then when I'm packing them, I'll probably just loosen them all up. 
see what else. And then the previous version had a, a mesh pocket for the inner, for the hydration sleeve. And then uh, now it's solid and then it has buckles now instead of uh, toggles. Because the previous version you could unstrap it and use it as like a mesh pocket. But now it has buckles here so you could use it as like a summit pack. But for some reason it didn't come with the straps for these so um, I sent a uh, info request to Sierra Designs and hopefully it includes some that they could send me. Alright, so what else is there? So on the front there are two mesh pockets here. It doesn't go very deep so smart water balls might be an issue. What's nice, it has a little cinch here so you can cinch down phones or snacks or what other items you want to um, put in these. The uh, hip belt pockets, pretty spacious. The Gossamer gear pockets are a little bit bigger, a little longer. I can tell here. Um, let's see. Yeah, these two side pockets aren't as big as the Gossamer Gears pockets too, so you could fit easily like two smart water bottles types in there, but it's a pretty tight fit in this pack. It could fit, but it's a pretty tight, tight squeeze. Probably, probably more suited for like a Nalgene, which I'm currently switching to. So, what else? Um, yeah, so let's let's pack it and see how it looks. I got all my basically my uh ball winter spring gear out and I also have my hammock set up on the side but I won't pack that but to show you that's like another option I have instead of the tent yeah let's just start doing it got the Nilo, Nilo fume pack liner this, this pack isn't waterproof so I'm kind of used to it this isn't either so I just protect my gear other ways. Oh, and this material is is a lot thicker. I think it's a uh, 150 denier. It could be around 100 to 150. But yeah, it seems a lot more uh, durable than the Gossamer gear. But I haven't had I haven't had any problems with durability with this pack. I can only try to baby it. Yeah, well, before I pack, one of the things I was looking forward to was this huge opening. I mean, like, yeah, it's just massive. So I could easily see down, down to the bottom. While with the Gossamer gear, it's, it's a little bit tricky because it's a little bit narrow. It's tall and narrow, but, you know, it's, it's kind of hard to see. And if you have um, stuff packed in here, like I usually sometimes have uh, like the bug net, my keys and and other items. But if you start bulking this up, it just gets difficult just to like access into here. So I'm pretty happy that it's just easy to access big zippered main compartment. All right, let's go. So I'll just go through my gear also and uh, to show you my loadout for my current loadout. So I got the hammock gear 20 degree quilt. Stuff this at the bottom. You can tell like yeah this is 
it could expand pretty big. Alright, got the uh, Nemo tensor insulated wide. Yeah, this is the Nemo pillow, elite pillow. And I got the thin light pad. I forgot where it's from, but I'll list it in. It's listed in my lighter pack, so you can see. It's basically to protect the sleepy pad and to make sure it doesn't slide around. It adds a little bit of warmth, too. And uh, start packing this the Sea to Summit thermal light reactor bag liner. Just has a little bit of comfort sleeping on the sleeping pad and some more. Then I just got this I'm gonna try out. It's a uh, Tyvek uh, like a sleeping bag cover. But this is cut too for a quilt so hopefully on uh, really damp nights it'll protect my quilt from being soaked on top, so I don't have to try it out as much. So I'll pack this. Then I got the uh, hammock gear down hood. This is very essential for me during cold weather since quilts don't have a hood on it. I absolutely love these. These are the Outdoor Research uh, Aero Joe. Uh, slippers. Smash this one down. And all my winter clothes. So I got the synthetic puffy um, leggings, beanie, uh, liner gloves, extra pair of socks. Yeah, so this goes down in warmer temperatures. But Adds a lot, it's a lot of bulk and weight for this time of year. Smash that down. So we got most of the uh, items I want to stay dry in here. So I'll kind of wrap this up. I'll put items I don't mind getting wet. So I got my food bag. Got my ditties, which is a uh, ditty bag, has my power bank, cables, uh, headlamp, uh, first aid kit, toothbrush, and whatever other items I need to put in there. This is kind of like my vlogging kit bag. Uh, I'll put the uh, ND filter and the microphone in here. And I got an extra little tripod thingy. So I'll just stick that wherever. Then I have a um, rain jacket. Usually stick this somewhere on top. And uh, this is my fleece that she designs Polartec Alpha. This thing's awesome. Super light. Breathable, extremely warm. Yeah, it's just great. So, I, think I got most of the stuff that needs to go inside. Got plenty of room. So, now for the stuff on the outside. Actually, I'll put this inside. This is the Helinox Chair Zero. Nice thing about this pack, it's kind of wide too, so it could actually fit horizontally which is awesome and that should do it for inside the pack so I'll put this up and I'll press it down the straps there and here And then we'll work on stuff on the outside. So, well, what I want to do this? 
put my one liter Nalgene bottle in the side pocket. Um, this is uh, disinfectant wipes, wet wipes. Stick this on the outside. This is my hydration kit. Has the Sawyer Squeeze, uh, Canop two liter bag, some noon tablets, some and uh, extra caps. So that will be easily accessible here. Then I got um, let's see, lip balm, uh, bug repellent. Uh, what's this? This is uh, Neosporin and and cortisone, and then sunscreen. So I just this is like one of those daily applicator kind of things. So I just like to have them easily accessible. So I just put this in the front pocket too, and uh, have a nice, nice little sh small ground sheet that I use. I put it in front of my tent or right below my hammock. So I like to keep this ha handy during rainy days. I'll just take this out and put it on the ground and put my pack on it. So the bottom of my pack doesn't get too wet. And I got a, see, this is a Dutch wear sit pad. This thing's really handy since it's so small and compact. So I'll just use this like when I'm sitting on my tent, I'll put my knees on this. Or if I'm sitting on a log, I'll just use this. But this is nice, easily accessible. Whenever I need to use it, I'll just have it there. This is a Gorilla Pod for filming stuff. That here too. All right, now to the front of the pack. I think I'll put a water bottle here. The, let's see, Garmin Inreach. Let's see. Yeah, maybe I'll just stick it on the load lifter. Um, this is my camera, the Instago 360, and the head cap. I usually put it right here. Yeah, this thing's awesome. I don't think, I think it's like out of stock now, but maybe a new model is coming out. But yeah, this is normally how I film. Just pop this up, it's super light, super easy. And then I might put it back in here to recharge a little bit. And this goes into hip belt pocket. This is basically my poop kit. It has a uh, Vargo Dig Dig Trowel and uh, the bidet that pops up onto a water bottle. I might actually bring another water bottle. I'm not sure if I want to use my drinking water bottle in the bidet. So I'll put this back in front here. It's be accessible. some snacks here. I'll put that here in the left hip belt pocket. Um, let's see, I got a microfiber cloth. I just like this just to wipe down my glasses or whatever. Then I got a pen, a paper map, a nice handy little printout of knots and I'll put like my keys in here and I'll put this in the brain for the top pocket which can be confusing to find right here it's not too big but you know for how I use it it's fine I'll just put it's just basically put keys or uh, probably the bug head net and like maybe an emergency blanket up here that goes there. Trekking pole to do this carry. Um, oh, the tent. <laughs> I forgot to pack the tent. Let me pack the tent. So we got the. Uh, what am I doing here? Oh, this got snagged. 
could be an issue. We got the Vic one. Let's stuff that in here in the top. We got tent poles here. Let's we'll stick them in the pocket. And, uh, yeah, it looks like that's it. So let's strap this down. doesn't really need to be strapped down since I got short Nalgene. So yeah, there we go. All packed up. Let's see if I could put it on. So yeah, I really like these uh, the hip belt adjustments. Really easy. And then, since this frame goes a little bit higher, it feels like the load lifters they actually do something. Like once I loosen them, you feel a little bit more pressure on the shoulders. But once I cinch it down. Feels pretty good. It's nice and a little bit more balanced. I could feel the weight more on my lower back and my hips. Yeah, I could hardly feel much at all on my shoulders. So yeah, for that alone, it's it's looking good. All right. That's it. Not so quick overview, first impressions of the new 2023 Sierra Designs flex capacitor of 40 to 60 liters. It's two pounds, 12 ounces with the 50 pound load capacity. All right, hope you have a good one. Hope this helps. This is my first gear review video of any kind, so be gentle and I uh, hope you have a good one.